Hello everyone, this is Max from Debra Websites and today I have task to create the this slider for Google reviews. So this video will be about how you can achieve this result with WordPress. Okay, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and if this video was helpful for you, feel free to leave your donations with donation link under this video. Okay, so you should go to the plugins, install it plugin, click add new plugin and search for Google reviews plugins, which you will love. I am going to use this one widgets for Google reviews. So basically you should, it's loading still, uh, you should uh, search for Google reviews just like this, Google reviews. And now you should install the first one, which has the most Okay, the most uses. Okay, it's loading, but it will be right here. Let's not wait. I already installed it. It looks like this. So we just for Google review. And here, how it looks, it looks like this here. And here we have some front end UI. Okay, so uh, now you should connect your Google account. So let's click connect. And now you should write, start typing your Google business profile name. So it's Landology in my case. So let's, where is it? Let's try Landology. Okay, and I think this one. Uh, I think this one. Well, I hope this one, right, this one. Where is it? Okay, so click connect. And let's wait until it's connected and see you next steps. Okay, I'm using Elementor on my website. I need to put the widget right here. So let's see how it goes for next. Okay, still connecting. Nice, something is going on. Let's wait. By the way, here is plugin which you should install. Okay, now you should, uh, everything is pretty, pretty easy. Now you should uh, select the layout, like sliders, sidebar, list, grid, batch, button, etc, etc, etc. I will use slider and I want to use, um, which layout I want to use, I, want, I think I want this one, just basic. Okay, click select. Now we will go to now the select styles. So you can see here are some styles. Here are, well, everything looks really nice, really good, really good and cute. All right. Okay. Now we are on the select style step, and we select style for our batch widget. So like this, like this, like this. You see here is gray background. Here are no gray background. Here are no borders, this is black at all. Oh. So let's use default one. Okay, light background. And now we are going to the page setup widget where we mm, configure our widget for the front end. So let's wait. All other plugins looks pretty similar. So this video can be helpful for all kinds of plugins. I think there are, of course are different, but the whole process is pretty same. Okay, filter, show all, language, English, date format, align left, review text, read more. Hide reviews without comments, hide writing text, show minimum, okay, show navigation, write, show reviews, picture profile. What will be if we delete it? I think picture will disappear, maybe, maybe, who knows. It's a bit slow because my internet connection is really bad, but we have what we have. Nothing changed. <laughs> show reviews, profile, picture. Okay, let's add it back. Show platform icons and show platform stars and enable mouse over animation. I want to disable the show platform um, logos because it's all from Google. You see here is logos. So let's remove it and it should be good. Because, you know, they all from Google. Now they doesn't really look good. <laughs> let's add it back. Show what from Logos, okay. I added it back because it looks so empty. It was better with logo. Yeah. And if client will ask me, I of course I will disable it. Okay. Okay, we have. 
So save and get code and we are going to the next step which will be insert code. So I'm not sure which code it will be but let's see. Let's see. Okay, next step is insert code. It's just short code. You should copy it and just paste where you want. In my case, it's here. So I need to add some code. Does Elementor has right short code and edit the our short code. And um, in your case, if you are not using Elementor, you should add short code in the text block, in the HTML block, in the in some text block which allows you to type some text. It should be okay for short code. Okay, and click publish. And now let's see how it looks like on front end. Short code is short codes. Um, in most cases, for some reason, doesn't work in backend. But probably it's my slow internet. So let's see what we have. We have beautiful, beautiful um, carousel right here. I'm not sure if we can make it not five grids. So let's check. Select layout. Advanced, as an advanced tab. So let's check because I would like to have four, and not five. Oh, it's four. I would like three, maybe. Okay, what we have some. Okay, this is advanced features, and so let's go back. Let's go back and search for more settings. Set up widget like right here. I'm sure there should be some settings, but if I will not find it right here, I will not go. Three is good. Okay, three is good. Never mind. So we have it. It's beautiful and most likely it's responsive. Right, it's responsive. You see. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, don't forget to leave your donations. Um, don't forget to subscribe, click like, and have a nice day. Bye bye.